what is a vampire? For 3,000 years, I have asked myself, what should a vampire be? Perhaps I should live in a castle, feared by mortals for all eternity. Perhaps a proper vampire should consort only with the fellow damned. Perhaps, as a vampire, I should slake my carnal desires with wild bacchanals each night, but, well, that I do. But these are all should statements, something I have learned much about as the first vampire therapist. When we say we should do something, where does the should come from? Why should I live in a castle? Is it something I should do for my well-being or a pressure of vampire society? A should statement is a distortion of reality. And the reality is that I don't need a castle. So I bought a nightclub instead. Watch as my therapist in training cleverly catches me using a should statement. I should speak at least 300 languages, including Java. I do live forever, after all. Well, that's one of them should statements, ain't it? Nobody's making you learn Java. Thank goodness for that. But should statements are only one way humans, immortal and not, can engage in distorted thinking. As a therapist to the undead, you'll learn to challenge your clients in many different ways. We are dead. Don't we deserve to rest in peace? <laughs>